welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh boy, today we are gonna talk about my cactus and succulent collection. So over the past couple of weeks, I have definitely been amassing quite the little cactus and succulent collection. I thought what better way to celebrate summer, it's June 30th, also my husband's birthday is today. He's 24. Everyone say happy birthday, Christopher. Congrats on being 24. Is like, you know, what other way to celebrate one of the first days of summer than by talking about cactus and succulents. I have a whole trough over here. I'm not including Hoya or a string of pearls or a string of dolphins or like things like that. These are all of my cactus and succulents. So uh, yeah, before we get started, please make sure you hit like, subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships if you wanna check that out at the first link in the description or you can hit that join button to find out more. Now that we're getting started, let's, let's go ahead and talk about them. So this is not even all of them. Yeah, I have a lot of cactus and succulents. So we're gonna work our way through them, discuss them, my journey with them, and maybe talk about some ones that you've seen before on this channel but maybe haven't seen. Maybe you're watching this directly after watching my first Cactus and Succulent Tour video, which was over like a year and a half ago. So the first one we're going to talk about was bought for me by one of my subscribers and a local Boise friends. And she bought this for me because it has an astrophyte item at the top of it. And she found it, I think at a Home Depot, not totally sure. But I am going to figure out, I'm going to talk to my friend, Cactus Update. And I'm going to figure out uh, what I need to do to make it so that this guy can just live on his own. Uh, so this is a work in progress, but that is a astrophytum myriostigma on top, I think. Also, I do not know the names of all these cactus. I am not cactus obsessed like I used to be. So I'm not gonna give you the names for all of them and I'm just sorry. I just wanna show you my cool cactus and talk about them and not necessarily focus on all of the names right now. So therefore, let's talk about this one next. Fun, right? So this is the cactus and I'll try to find the actual name for this one on the screen so that you don't have to just know it by such a graphic name but he's putting out a little baby which is so funny uh, this one was given to me by Jay's greenhouse I absolutely adore this cactus I used to have the booby cactus that went with it but it did succumb to the mealy bugs next I have one of my oldest plants this is an astrophytum something I'll go find the name for this one and put it on the screen since it's pretty cool you can tell I definitely had him in the window facing one direction. So he's leaning towards the light. So I've had him in the window lately facing the other direction. But this is a super awesome astrophytum. My grandma picked it up for me at Plants for the Southwest, I think, uh, in Tucson. So Next, let's talk about this one that you're just seeing constantly. This is Lophoceris shoddii. She is much taller than she used to be. This whole um, dark part up here is newer uh, into me owning her. And um, yeah, it's really, really, really freaking cool. I appreciate her. This is one of my first cactus that I uh, got that I have managed to uh, stay steady with. It has had mealybugs a few different times, but we are currently going strong. You can tell he's gonna wanna be watered soon. He has some pruning lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a watering soon. Yeah, I, I freaking love this cactus. He's massive. He's, if I start him here, he just like leaves the screen. So uh, yeah, this is my Lofacera shoddy eye monstrous. I love it. My parents just moved to Arizona and they have like five just in their yard. So it's, and by the way, these cactus are all over Arizona. They're just like everywhere. So this was an expensive cactus for me to buy <laughs> and find. Uh, outside of the desert, but in Arizona, they're literally everywhere. Next, let's talk about this guy. This is my old man blue torch cactus. This is a Pylocerus, or Pylocerus? Pylocerus azurus, I believe. I bought it for $25 at a succulent day over a year ago, and I love it so much. Um, you can see it's very blue at the top there and then it gets less blue as it goes down. That is because of farina. Farina is a substance you see on cactus and succulents that makes it blue. It's like nature's sunblock. And if you touch it, it'll come off. So don't touch it. You can tell where the new growth is because it will be extremely blue. 
Uh, so you can see it's very, very blue right there and it gets more kind of green as we go down, so. Next, we have one of my favorite cactus of all time. This is also from Plants for the Southwest, I believe. This is a Tephrocactus Geometricus. It's either Geometricus or Geometrizans, and I can't remember, but it's the ball cactus. And look at it, he's got a new ball. And, and he's trying with this new ball. I don't know if he's gonna make it. I'm gonna have to move him into a brighter light uh, situation. But yeah, I have one of these and then I gave one of these or did a trade with Harley, so Harley has the other one. I used to have two, so if you're wondering where the other one went, Harley has it. I believe that people actually do hand remove the spines because the baby does come with spines. So, but how cute is that? He's got a little baby up on top. Oh, I freaking love it. Next, we have one of my other favorite cactus. This is another Tefro cactus. I love tephro cactus and this is tephro cactus paper spine and i also bought him in a succulent day very very cute he comes in this super adorable little like pebble stuff and he's all potted up in this mini terracotta and i just love him he did actually have another another top guy but raven did knock him over the other day and he did lose the top guy. Fortunately, I do have no promises because I've never propagated a cactus before. Okay, so my next cactus that I have, I actually was sent. So I was sent this by my friend who runs Cactus Update on Instagram, which you should go follow him. Actually lives in Arizona and he has a massive, massive cactus collection. I was going to try to go to his house and film a tour, but he lives quite a bit away from my parents and he ended up being on a trip anyway. So it just didn't work out. The next time we go to Arizona, I'm going to try to link up with him because we've been friends on the internet for quite a while and we've never met before. He sent me as a gift because he found out I didn't have one, this little you Euphorbia obesa and it is so cute. It's another round cactus. I really really like round cactus and freaking look at that Are you kidding me look at him and he actually sent it to me when it was flowering But it hasn't it hasn't really flowered. It is like purple though. It's been getting a ton of Sun in my window So this one which was an extra this was given to me for free by the people at Plants at the Southwest when my grandma went to buy me some plants. They just threw it in for fun, uh, just to be nice. I have no idea what it is. But he's lumpy and cute. I think he's fun. Okay, let's get into some succulents. Oh, I totally forgot about this. I have this variegated corn on the cob cactus, who is also very cute. This was sent to me by uh, Jay's Greenhouse. I also have one more. I have this Euphorbia Horda, one of my favorite cactus of all time. Every single time I see one, I wanna buy it. I think it is so cute, so spiky. It's not like scary spiky. Like sure, if you, if you grabbed it really hard, it would hurt. But I just think it's like a little fun, little fun cactus guy. Let's talk about my succulents. So this is one of my favorite ones. This is a Caligo Hearts. I got this at a place in Nampa. Oh yeah, Southern Idaho Landscape Center. So that's where I got it. It's this massive houseplant shop, like smack dab. Oh, not Nampa, Twin Falls. And it's like, it's called Caligo Hearts. And it is Cal and Coe Calico Hearts. And I love it so much. I'm actually getting it to flower. It is loving life. And it's like, I don't even know if people will see it. And it is nectary, but I freaking love this plant. It's so chunky. And it's sun stressing right there. Oh, I love it so, 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 so much. I also got this succulent, which is also living life. Don't know what it's called. It's just called houseplant. Uh, but it has like this little like white spot, which I think is so cute. Could you guys stop falling over? Then I have this one, which I bought a really long time ago. I need to water a lot of these plants, by the way. Um, <laughs> but look at him, he's growing towards the light. I love it when they do that. I think that they look so funky. This is a codaline. Don't know what type, but he's also chunky. He would be chunkier if he had water. He needs water. Then I have this one, which I bought at a Home Depot because it is perfect. It is literally perfect. And I have made it a point to try not to touch the farina. So it looks nice and pastel like. Then I bought this one, which is like a grape, oh, Echeveria opalina. Um, he's also growing in the direction of the sun. So I need to turn them all so that they even out. Then I have this one. This is Echeveria White Shadow. 
and he grew a very tiny baby. He's, he like stopped growing big leaves and now he's growing teeny, teeny tiny leaves. Then this is a crassula. I think it's called crassula little buttons. And I put it right in my south facing window and it's pink. It freaking turned pink on top. I don't know, but I think that that's pretty cool. We have this one, which I just bought at Edwards the other day. This is Echeveria Parva. Here, I'll take the tag out. Freaking look at that. Is that not one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen? Look at that. Oh my God, duh. it's perfect. Then the last one I have in this box is my Tillandsia. This is a little Tillandsia Xerographica I bought at Five Mile Greenhouse or Five Mile Farms here in Boise, Idaho. And I think it's just a really cute little one. Okay, I have just a few left. This is one of the first ones I ever bought. Again, he needs to be watered, but this is an Echeveria Ruffles. He is very purple uh, because he's been getting a lot of sun, but he's also putting out babies which is so exciting. Then we have a Codaline who just right now kind of looks like a tall Echeveria, but it needs to be watered. All my plants are kind of skinnier. They're supposed to be kind of chunkier, but they're all kind of like skinny because they need to be watered. But he's putting out little flaps and they look like little claws. And I think that like, or little chameleon hands. This should just be called Codaline Chameleon Hands. Then we have another plant that was sent to me by Jay's Greenhouse. This is a variegated jade, which I freaking love also growing towards the sun, very clearly. And the last one is this very dehydrated Ripsalis. I did just water him, so he will be perking up. But look, he's got a little hand shooting up, which is so funny. Uh, but this was my first desk plant. I freaking love Ripsalis. I really like when stores have them. I feel like they're one of the most underrated house plants that is out there. You guys are probably like, Ashley, what happened to your massive cactus collection? You had so many cactus. At the last house, like literally almost a whole year ago, a year and a half ago, I had a horrible mealybug outbreak. Super common. It's like one of the most common pests for cactus to experience are our mealybugs. But oh my gosh, were they there? There was so many of them. And it got to the point where it didn't matter how many times I treated it, the mealybugs weren't going away. I had to get rid of a lot of my cactus because my other plants started getting mealybugs as well. I'm rebuilding my cactus collection. And when I go back to Arizona this next time, I'm gonna be buying a bunch of cactus and then having them shipped to me here. Yeah, but that's my little cactus and succulent collection. Thanks for hanging out with me while I show you my cool plants. My favorite three cactus, oh, that's tough. Definitely Lophoceros shoddii for sure. Yeah, then probably my uh, Euphorbia obesa, obsessed. I mean, it's really hard to pick favorites, but I think it's gonna have to be this uh, Tempro cactus. I love it so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, I think what we've learned is I like spineless things. I like things I can touch. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me while I tell you about my favorite cactus. Thank you so much for vibing with me, being here, subscribing, turning on that notification bell like I know you have done. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna be taking a, just a couple days off after this. I know that um, you guys probably assumed because I haven't been posting that much lately. Yeah, I took a lot of days off this month just so that I could be a person, uh, but actually today that you're seeing this video is my husband's birthday. So today and then tomorrow, I don't think, well, tomorrow and then the day after, I don't know if you'll see a video because I'm gonna be spending time with my husband. But if you do see a video, lucky, lucky us that we get to hang out earlier than expected. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at Plant Me Ashley. Uh, I do a lot of fun stuff on Instagram. Um, other than that, become a channel member. So, so, so helpful, and we love to see more people hop into the Discord. Tell me what your favorite cactus are in the comments. Love to hear. And uh, tell me what cactus I should buy, because I'm gonna be buying some cactus soon, because I still love them. My love for them has not gone away. They all got sick and died. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye. Thank you again so much for watching, and please remember to check out and subscribe to my second channel, youtube.com forward slash all about Ashley. And thank you so much to this channel's extra sponsors, The Planted Carly Flower, All the Green Places, and Botanicas.